Today we're making my version of Thai style fried fish. It's crispy, it's spicy, it's tangy, aromatic, full of flavor. Definitely a dish that will keep you going in for more. So the first step for this Thai style fried fish, we're going to have to pat dry the fish. Now the fish I'm using is a sea bass. I've told the fishmonger to butterfly the fish and remove the center bone. Now this way, the fish cooks a lot faster. We get sort of textured all around the skin and also on the flesh side. Now pat dry the fish, remove all these blood clots on the skin side as well. Now, by pat drying your fish, prevents all this moisture from hitting that oil and splattering all over the place. We're gonna season. You wanna lightly season the flesh and on the skin side. Not too much, because this Thai style fish, we're gonna have a lot of fish sauce in there as well, and fish sauce is very intensely salty. A coating of corn flour, this will give it that nice sort of crisp. Just run your fingers around it. There we go. We don't want it to be overly dredged in corn flour. Flip it around and lightly coat the flesh side. The corn flour does two things. One is dry up all that little bit of moisture that's left on the surface of the fish. And it also gives a nice crisp to your fish as well. There we go. Beautiful. So now the fish is nice and coated. We'll just let that stand for a couple of minutes while we wait for the oil to heat up. What we're going to do is start preparing our aromatics. We've got ginger, thin slice, julienne. Bring it across and fine dice. Lemongrass. Remove the tip and thin slice. Just run your knife through to further chop them up. Garlic. Get some bird's eye chili, thin slice. Now the bird's eye chili really depends on your level of heat tolerance. You're one who can't really take a lot of spicy food, just use the regular fresh red chilies. Get a little bit of that corn flour, dust it in. Once you see it starts bubbling, we're going in skin side down. Once the fish is gone in, don't touch it, don't move it, because you want the crust at the bottom of the skin to form. If you start poking around, that crust won't get a chance to form and it'll start to break. Flip it over. All right, now, the fish is cooked and we're going to remove it from the oil. There we go, look at that beauty. What we're gonna do is we're gonna double fry the fish. So we're gonna heat up the oil back to a very, very high temperature and we're gonna dunk the fish in for maybe 30, 45 seconds, maximum a minute. And this is gonna crisp up the exterior of the fish without overcooking. All right, so when you see that the oil has just about reached its smoking point, we're gonna dunk the fish back in. Beautiful. Make sure you get the tail in as well. And this fish is ready to come out. There we go. Let it stand so that all that excess oil would just drip off. Beautiful, nice crispy skin. Heat up the wok and now we're going to start frying up our aromatics and making a sauce to pour on top of that beautifully fried fish. Use the oil from the frying of the fish. Now in goes the ginger and the lemongrass. The ginger and lemongrass goes in first because they take a longer time than the garlic to crisp up. The garlic goes in. All right, now you want to shave your palm sugar. Get your fish onto a nice serving platter. Oh, once you start smelling the ginger, the lemongrass and the garlic start to turn color, you get this nice beautiful aroma. Now in with the palm sugar and the chilies. Now, fish sauce. A teaspoon of corn flour, give it a mix. Now we've got our basil, this is a Thai basil. Just pluck off the stems. You need about a handful of this. Get that in. Give it all a good stir. Slurry in. Now, finally, some lime juice. Turn off the heat, squeeze your lime juice in. Incorporate everything together. Little splash more fish sauce, just a tut of sugar. Get everything nice and incorporated. Pour over this beautiful sauce. Ooh. 
Ooh, now for the taste test. Just cooking this, the whole time my mouth is watering because I'm imagining what it's gonna taste like. You get this beautiful crust on the edges of the fish. Hear that? So what's happened is you've created two different textures in this one fish. You get this nice sort of crispy edges that everyone really just goes for. And then as you get deeper into the body, you get this nice succulent, sweet, absolutely delicious. So this is my version of a crispy Thai fried fish. If you've enjoyed this recipe, let me know in the comments down below what you think. And if you enjoyed this episode, think it's added value to you, do click the like and subscribe button, guys. I'll check you out. I'll see you guys next week. Ciao.